I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back, everyone. I am the Dungeon Master, and this is Doomsday Aftermath. We are rejoining the heroes as they have found themselves in quite the super predicament. They have gone to confront none other than Lex Luthor himself, who obviously is one of the most powerful men on the planet, what with being the leader of the Justice League, having his own super suit, now an orange lantern ring on top of that, uh, control of two different supermen, and then upon confronting him at his uh, own version of the Fortress of Solitude, you, you discover that he has another superman, um, you're not sure if it's the real Superman. It reads as the real Superman to every sensor that you guys have, including Wayne's sense of smell, any telepathy, any, um, you know, scan analysis that Viv would have attached to any of her tech. Um, and, you know, uh, just it is either superman or a perfect clone but they didn't have to wait long to f find out which one it was because upon destroying the control device that <laughs> excuse me that lex luther had um the superman the real quote-unquote superman began to transform and they found themselves facing not a man like Clark Kent, Kal-El, Superman, whatever you want to call him, but rather a transformed being, half Superman, half Doomsday, crackling with a power beyond anything that you guys have seen. And as the battle is joined you can feel the enormous amount of pressure that he is able to exert uh when superman flies like he's basically pushing against stuff uh 
the the same way you know dragon ball z except for it's not kai powers and all of that but you can travel faster by exerting more force and so there's just this aura of of force coming off of super doomsday in waves kind of exactly like a dragon ball z episode where you can just see little chunks of rock floating up around him and being blown off and the wind is whipping around and it's just this constant you know pulsing of power as he stands there and surveys the battlefield before flying in to attack Xterra. And so we pull up the combat tracker and it looks like it is Tremor's turn. So I assume based off of your name, you have some sort of plant-based powers. So go ahead and try and get Super Doomsday high and let's see if that works. Uh, could I get the map? Uh, double click your token, please, sir. Hello. Hey, Hazard. Yeah, if anybody needs the map, just double click your token. Oh, there it is. Oh. So, what did I miss? Not much. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna just kind of skip my turn because other people were talking about having an actual plan that wasn't ill doomsday Superman. Okay, uh, so even Xterra, you're because you got Lex Luthor and uh, Super Doomsday, you know, like right on top of you. I, I I'm not encouraging you to fight and like therefore you know, mess up anybody's plan, uh, but also, like, you could potentially smack Lex Luthor around still if you wanted or whatever, you know? I will say, last week, you, you described at the end Lex Luthor as a broken man. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, he, he it is his, uh, suit. You you broke the thing, and then also. Uh, um, I was thinking mentally. Um, oh, you did you cast the spell? Yeah, I did the psychic gnaw on him twice. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So that's right. He has uh, been forced to kind of face some uh, psychic assaults and is probably not going to attack you. So yes, you're good. Cyborg Superman, however, is going to beat up on ex Eradicator, Executioner, er Eradicator, because um, he's still trying to protect uh, Viv. I, uh, I'm sorry. I keep double click, double clicking on my token in my sheet. No, on the combat tracker. Oh, on the combat tracker. Eradicator takes Cyborg Superman's punch to the chin. It kind of chips one of his uh, glasses a little bit, but he just, you know, takes it. Takes it like a man. Lex Luthor stumbles backwards. Wayne, what have you done? This is, this is the end of the world. Oh, about this. Yeah, no, I got a, I got a plan for this. I just need you to uh, stay the... Actually, I need you to hand me that fucking ring before you do something else stupid. It's mine! I mean, I can just leave and let this be yours, too. <laughs> Good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, hold on. I just asked a question, buddy. What what the fuck is the Eradicator? 
uh, it's a Kryptonian computer program that like basically is there to take over if anything ever happened to Superman. Uh huh. Who made it? Like lore wise. Uh, that would be um Jor El. Mm, okay. Huh. Maybe I could take. Maybe I could get, grab his scrap after this is all over. Might be interesting to dissect. Anyway. Uh, Wait, isn't it blood? What's that? I thought he was a guy. I kind of thought so, but I mean, he's, he's with the name, with how the, he not be a guy. I uh, mean, just with the glasses and the shades, I kind of thought he was the Terminator. Uh, so, he, the Eradicator was a weapon built on Krypton that, through fucking shenanigans, wound up on Earth and eventually molded itself to look like Superman. Yeah. Yeah, there Weird. you go. It's, it's fucking Silver Age comics nonsense. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's really hard to say exactly what eradicator is especially with like all of the retcons and new 52 and blah 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 but um basically my understanding is that it's more of a created thing than a like person hmm okay uh well i think i'm gonna look for the thingy that, like I pointed out, might exist. Uh, can I, like, try and scan to see if there's some sort of isolated piece of text still on the Super Doomsday? Yeah. Who? Cool. Uh, do you want me to, like, roll something for that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want me to roll perception or my tech skill? Tech. Okay. I have one of those now. Point two. Uh, so, do you just see the super outfit and the bony protu- protrusions and the crackling energy... Uh, there's definitely no uh, outward visible signs of tech. Huh. So, whatever. Oh, the wait. Thing is. Wait. I'm sorry. That's why I had you roll tech to scan him. The, the scan reveals that there is a device implanted at the base of his uh, brain inside his skull. Man, that seems like it'd be hard to get to. You could just ask him to, like, bend over. <laughs> you could always nod it out. Ah. Uh, I know the think... fuck you can. <laughs> yeah, it... <laughs> I don't actually think there's a cutting implement around that could crack that. I'd need to go get special tools from my homeland to even have Not a Not even, uh, Great King Rat's teeth? No. How about you try to chew through it? Huh? How about you try to chew through the thing that killed every superhero? Yeah. This is not gonna be good. Nah, whatever. Maybe if I just can get my hand on the back of his he- neck, I can fucking communicate with it. Whatever. Alright. Any- it's not, it's uh, not uh, anything I can do about it anymore. Yeah, let's keep this smooth, smooth moves, and see what he wants to do before acting out. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, Deep Knight, you're not on the map because uh, we had a different thing going on. I will put you back over here. You're over by Lex Luthor. Now, then... Deep Knight sir uh, looks to Luther. Hand over the hand over the fake orange ring. I already told you it's mine. Uh 
Oh, it is certainly not yours. And he's going to try and yank it off of Lex Luthor's hand. Uh, do I need to make a roll? Uh, yeah. You would need to, first of all, try to attack Lex Luthor. So if you get a hit, then we can, you know, go from there. So yeah, as you go to grab the ring, he just brings up an orange, uh, like techno shield. You know how they have those like green hexagon shields or sometimes they're blue that like represent uh, an energy force field that like comes up. It's like that, but all orange. And Deep Knight's like, come on, give me the, give us the ring. Mm-hmm. All right, time to see this thing roll at fucking plus 48. Oh, as Super Doomsday flies in to attack Xterra, Xterra is able to use their earth shaping powers to kind of transform and uh, make themselves harder to to hit. Superman flies like right through uh, where you were. You either split yourself in two using your geoform powers in order to like, you know, make a big hole for him to just fly through or you like altered the earth shape or whatever enough for you to not be there just in time with the speed of your thoughts to be able to get out of the way of something coming at you with like a speed of light punch, basically. However, as he flies through you, he turns around and attacks you again. This time with his heat vision. Oh no, he has legendary actions. take that you rock beast uh he just roars angrily as his red glowing eyes begin to flare up like a demon there's just all this energy gathering and then he unleashes a beam hey wait one second great hello 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 that's an energy attack right yes sir oh well Mm, yes no uh let, let me let me think about the, it's got to be energy right i mean yeah. there there's no other kind of attack yeah. you could classify it as so, yeah uh, yeah he he sure hits with those lasers but uh gets hit with those lasers yeah it goes in and rebounds back at him uh okay so uh you reflect the beams whether they hit him or not they bounce off of his uh skin um the rock skin protects him um however you still feel the force like there is more than just like this isn't just a laser this is like actual waves of particles coming at you so hard and fast that you may be immune to the energy but the force you can still feel it however you are not dazed and you are not bruised it's just i'm making it clear that this is more than just energy on on this uh thing oh well you did roll a one so yeah no you you are totally uh dazed how's he doing if you if you had if you hadn't rolled a one, maybe uh you know you would have just felt it like I was saying. But rolling a one, basically what's happening here is it's a photon torpedo. So you're immune to the energy of the photons, but the force created from 
it is still physical. Ah, okay. So then the beams bounce back off and and miss him. He dodges to the side. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Not the beam fight. Okay. Uh, uh, Lex, you want to play the mind, mind, mind game? Fine. Here, yeah. uh, let me get to. Wayne's just going to pull out like a, a dirty scrap of parchment and jot baby's first spell circle on there. Uh, <laughs> it is it is an anchor uh, to teleport Wayne to Lex Luthor when he flies away like a bitch. Nice. And he hands it to him. Here, this is yours now, too. It is mine. And he grabs it. The ring is starting to affect him more as your psychic... Uh, assault has like broken his mind slightly and so uh as the orange ring's power takes over he just greedily grabs the paper from you as soon as you say it's his all right bud just a, a polite excuse me to super doomsday as i walk past <laughs> coming Easy. through Sorry. coming through uh, uh, watch the shoulders <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna extra effort and heal Kemmer, like get him up off the ground. Yep. Hey, bud, you've been doing good, but it's time to uh dismiss the legendary rock beast. I know that's probably a tall order, and I'm sorry to just drop it at your feet like this, but uh, we're kind of in a bad way right now. Oh, that's a diamond. Oh, <laughs> I got it. That's diamond. Although, uh, I will just take that fucking 13, 26, it's three, that's three ranks. Mm. Yes, Tremor, you feel the healing magic of Wayne's spell uh, course through you, and although, of course, your skin is still the... Uh, well, nope, you don't have all of the rock on you, just the one huge scar, and so that scar kind of spreads a little bit as the healing magic heals you, but the rock's, like, wound scar, like, grows as a little bit more of your human self is gone forever. What the fuck? Which scar are you talking about? Your chest scar? Uh, that was... That that's backstory stuff. That that was not from getting encased in the rock. Oh, I thought that was from when you got encased in the rock. Either way, mm. now with with the rock, that's the one thing that like still is. It, it's a big scar, <laughs> but it has that glow from like your chest there, like yeah. just just a little bit, and so it just grows a little bit each time you're like really badly wounded and taken down. Yeah. But yeah, the, the chest scar is from backstory stuff involving why Xterra has never been summoned before for shit. Ah, that might actually work really well with the way that I was thinking about it anyway then. So if Xterra is involved in any way, shape, or form, then uh, for sure, you know, this can this can really work for a flavor thing to where, like, it's basically, you know, you can heal tremendous amounts of damage but if you're really you know beaten down that scar grows just a little bit and like basically one day quote unquote it'll take over and you'll do nothing but this like you know uh rock monster thing there will be no human part of you left is the fear of course you guys are working on a a solution, I assume. Hopefully. And then Great King Rat, is that your turn? Oh, I have to fatigue you. One second. Yep.
All right, there you go. And then is that your turn? That is my turn. Let me uh, just get the thing. Yep. All right, I am staggered, so I am just going to like fly back over here and, and be like, we're all doomed. That's doomsday, and this is the day of our doom. Bo, oh, just stop fighting and hold still, you idiot. <laughs> Boo, get off the stage. Look, I am a weapon built for killing, not making public speeches. Well, then if, if, if all you can do is fight, then leave for now. But I like fighting. I have a plan to save the world. And if you stand in the way of it, Doomsday is not what you have to worry about. <laughs> but I will get to fight? Uh, eventually, yes. All right, maybe. Both ways. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if you spend your turn trying to convince me or not. All right, Tremor, what do you do? So he... Tremor stands up and he turns to face his creation and just holds out an arm and kind of makes it look like uh, if he were pushing down on something in the air and Xterra starts to crumble apart but uh, I'm going to give it one last turn. And it's gonna fucking deck Superman. Which one? The one it's targeting. <laughs> it was just funny, you know, because there's so many Supermen. As you punch Superman with your massive rock fist, it's already starting to crumble. And it just kind of breaks apart against his rocky, bony skin. And then Xterra collapses into nothing more than mud and stone and slush. And Cyborg Superman uh, is like, are you okay, ma'am? I... <laughs> Uh, the answer is a nod, simply, yes, I'm fine. Well then, stay back, I have to go face this, and he goes to protect you from Super Doomsday, but, oh. like, he's not, he's not attacking, he's not attacking, he's just getting in the way so that if Super Doomsday tried to charge Viv, he would have to go through Cyborg Superman. Mm-hmm, I am deeply considering my options. This is... This is all your fault. I had everything planned perfectly. My plan was perfect. You ruined everything. I'm... I'm... Gonna just... Leave. Smartest thing you've done in years, Lex. I'm going my way. Oh no, Lex Luthor is going their own way. <laughs> So Lex Luthor's gone. I'm just putting him on the corner of the map so that he's still, like, an option. Viv. Uh... Ah. Um. I'm going to um, 
I gotta give uh, the rat time to do his thing. I'm going to just kind of honing in on the target with my mind. I'm going to take the aim maneuver and close my turn. Okay. Well, Deep Knight's chasing after Lex. With what? You remember the whole water buildy? How is that going to catch someone with a lantern ring that can fly at the speed of light? Oh, sorry. Just. Gork. I mean, Deep Knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Knight sort of looks over and says, Well, there goes the most unstable individual ever to know. Um, Deep Knight, repeat after me. Wayne's going to give him the, the, the magical trigger word. What did you say? Wayne is going to say slightly wrong. The magical trigger word? Like, just pass the knowledge on to him. Like, tell him what to say. Like, say just blank, and then let him let him go do his fucking Lex Luthor thing. Because the problem with flying at the speed of light is you are well outside of the radius of this thing's ability to fucking perceive you, so uh... Deep Knight can go fully ape shit. Look, Deep Knight's had a, a long running hate boner for Lex Luthor, and I want him to have a private moment to really, really use it. So, yeah. This like a long so yeah, basically Hazard, what he's saying to you is that if you want to go attack Lex Luthor, he will let you teleport to him. Uh, however, um, what you may be forgetting is that Lex Luthor could still be traveling at the speed of light. Indeed. So if, you know, Deep Knight is all of a sudden just wherever but Lex is still traveling, then he's just, you know, however far away and no real option to, like, get back or anything. It works more than once. As long as he's holding the other end of the token. And I don't see Mr. Green giving it up anytime soon. Oh, yeah, I mean, fair point. Uh, you can keep going until he stops. Goracle uh, looks to the to uh, the Great King Rat and says, "I Oracle think here? it's important." I'm, I'm Great King Rat. I said Great King Rat. You said it's Oracle different. looks at Great King Rat. It looks at Great King Rat. Take it. So you've been this guy for a long time. Just don't, uh, you know, accept the consequences that come with uh, whatever you do. All right, I am. Probably just going to attack the strongest thing I see, which is Cyborg Superman. So I go and attack Cyborg Superman. And as my 
bony, rocky fist crackles with energy. I punch him so hard that he staggers backwards towards Viv. Ma'am, you need to get out of here. And then I fly over here just to like cut off any ability for you guys to, you know, help each other. If I do a persuasion check this turn, I can unfatigue myself? Yes, sir. All right. Hey. Eradicator, yeah, right? Y yes, okay. Eradicator. That is my designation. There is a world beyond this point where you can fight, fight your harvest every day to build a world better than any of us can imagine in this moment. All you got to do is take a backseat this once. There is a place for you in the New Justice League where you can help people for that. Yeah, I'm going to wait for your role before I respond because I don't know, you know, how well you, you did. I mean, the minimum is 27. So. Damn. All right. Uh, Eradicator says, although I am reluctant to keep myself out of the fight, I will stay here and protect you if you are, you know, truly going to rebuild the Justice League. I am not blind. I have I have seen what Lex Luthor is capable of and although my methods may be more brutal than you know some others I I am not stupid enough to allow an orange lantern ring to possess my mind and cloud my thinking It's always going to be a place in the world for the stick you know, there's always going to be people who need a firm hand. And I got two of them, as firm as they come. <laughs> All right. Wayne is going to dismiss his pink lantern aura and take a deep breath. <laughs> Just try to fucking calm down a little bit, because this is going to be the single most dangerous thing he's ever done. And he tried to face Trigon alone. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you are no longer fatigued. I'm no longer pink. Oh, yes, your Elton John costume. And so I move up to protect your weak little ally here. That's you, weak ally. <laughs> Tremor's gonna do a whole lot of nothing this turn. He's very tired. And Cyborg Superman moves to here to try and deflect any incoming attacks. Lex is gone, gone, gone. Viv? You're going for Lex? Well, he is going currently at light speed. And I don't want to end up as pa pavement. 
you all. How, how long do you think before he's going to stop being in light speed? Well, the thing about light speed on planet is uh, he's probably already where he's trying to be. Or, I mean, Deep Knight, sort of hearing this, said, says, Alrighty then. I'll be ready to teleport. All you gotta do is speak. You got the thing. Just say the word. And for that, he, Goracle is going to hold his turn and says, Alright, ready for a teleport. No, you, you have control of it. What? It's uh, two parts of a of a scroll, like a, two parts of a piece of parchment with uh, different parts of the same magic circle on them. You say the word, it teleports you. Wayne has nothing to do with it. It's like an object. Okay, uh, where are they? You have you have one of them. Lex Luthor has the other. Okay, okay. So, Gorakal looks at the uh, paper. You keep saying Oracle. Uh, uh, Deep Knight. Deep Knight looks at the paper. What's on the paper? I have to magic circle. What? Man is bad at spell theory, so this is like... This would make Viv fucking cringe. It's just a... Make it's essentially using um, like a, a for, like the equivalent of a of a first level spell, maybe a cantrip, like make whole uh, to teleport somebody. With this as the focus, it joins the two pieces of paper, right? Um, and all you have to do is Wayne has told you the word. I don't know magic words, but. There is now a word you can say that would make you teleport to Lex Luthor. So, Gorkuli says the word. Alright, uh, you teleport into deep space. And you are in um, all alone in deep space. Well, good news is we never dismissed those fucking enchantments that let us breathe up there. So is is that your turn then, Deep Knight? Well, he's sort of floating in space and says to himself, This is certainly not what I expected. Ah, see what this big guy does. Ah. 
Uh, I am still focused on Cyborg Superman, so punchy time. Incapacitating Cyborg Superman as I knock him to the ground. I then turn and heat beam Eradicator. Great King Rat. Great King Rat's going to turn to the exhausted drummer and put a hand on his, like, like forearm. That's probably about where he can reach, unless he's, like, laying down. And say, uh, hey, uh, David, you're my best friend. Take care of things if this goes bad, okay? Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna use my sociology degree. <laughs> oh boy, this 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 can only go well. I mean, Wayne is going to slowly approach uh, Superman. Hey, big guy. Look at me. Look at me. Look right at my eyes. He turns and looks at you. Everything is going to be okay. There's no more fighting here. You don't got to fight. Just take some deep breaths with me. We're going to get through this. I swear, everything will be okay. You can relax. No fucking way. All right. Hit me. Uh, Come on. Actually, can I extra effort? I have that now, right? Uh, you can extra effort, yes. Oh, that was stealth. I rolled stealth. I rolled stealth last time. I'm it's, it's, it's the yeah, it's the same thing though. Yeah. Just gonna keep trying, I suppose, uh, because he, you know, he walked in on a bad situation here. He's gonna try to power through. Uh, Yeah, so you know, you 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 try but he's he's just he's just not convinced, you know. That's it. Eradicator flies up to protect you though. But not like in a violent way, but kind of like yeah. he's def he's def he's definitely more you know the Aquaman you know like this guy ain't right at this moment you know than than uh, you know trying to like keep calm you know he's like no let's get ready to fuck this guy up. Yeah. Oh boy. Gonna start just trudging through the snow this way. It's very cold.
so now having a Superman triad going here, Cyborg Superman is, uh, you know, slowly like pulling himself back up because that's what Supermen do. You know, they don't stay down. And he and he's slowly pulling himself back up, but he's staggered, and and he just kind of like stumbles back over to like join the rest of you. So now you're flanked by Superman. Do do do, traveling somewhere at light speed in outer space that you guys don't know. Ba ba ba. All right, we're back again. It seems to be Viv's turn that is the main catalyst here, so I'm going to have to, of course, kick you from the game. No, I can't. Fuck <laughs> Go ahead and, and uh, describe what it is you're doing. <laughs> Go ahead, Viv. All right, uh, so uh, to pick up where I left off, I had just spent my move action to teleport over. I'm fishing one of the kryptonite darts I have out of my pack. Uh, well, out of my you know various parts where I keep my ammo. I'm going to, um, you know... With, Jab uh, it my... into the back of his head? No. Uh, uh, I'm going to kind of open the thing up, and I'm going to apply it topically to the surgical, surgical area. Oh, one of the liquid darts. You're doing like a general anesthesia with that. That is clever. I like that. I, well, it's a poison, but also the thing that makes him weaker, so it has the dual effect of anesthetizing the area while also making it so that a normal blade can get in there, because I don't have a kryptonite scalpel, Yeah, yeah like was suggested. Like... Yeah, you're like preparing the area. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, so that's that's what that's what I spend my action doing, so I can actually commit to surgery next turn. Yeah. So Th you thank. Go ahead. I was about to say, thank God, I'm technically uninstalling um, the word um, cyberware because my 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 only related skill is my biotechnology skill. Yeah. So uh, as you apply the kryptonite you see that um, the bony protrusions start to, like, harden around the area. Um, but right where the kryptonite is, uh, is soft, pliable, Kryptonian skin. Um, yeah. I, but I look but the bony protrusions around the area get, like, really, like, rough and grow. Yeah, I look to Great King Rat and say, all right, this is the time to focus most on this. I'm going to begin surgery shortly. Uh, I do what you gotta. I'll put everything I have into this. Except for, like, 300% more strained than that. Do what you got. Yeah, I'll that put is into this. Uh, yeah, because, it, like, it's taking every ounce of energy, you know, like you said, this is soul-draining power that you're pumping into this creature to, you know, get him to stay half-dazed and, and able to be, you know, plied here. And so as you apply the kryptonite, like, he doesn't hurt, you know, it, do, it doesn't hurt him. So uh, I want I want to be clear about that, but... Because it does, like, have an adverse effect on the strength of his cells, the doomsday cells began to react and, like, try to protect him, but they can't because as of this moment, he is still technically, like, you know, two-thirds vulnerable to to kryptonite. And, and so the kryptonite is the liquid kryptonite, Liquid, liquid night is able to um you know do what you need it to do but his doomsday cells are already like detecting it like uh like white blood cells detecting an infection they're like hey what is this we don't like this let's start forming antibodies to it and try to like make ourselves immune to kryptonite next time we 
die and get resurrected. Everything I have, just maintaining the spell. Yeah, and so I am not introducing the possibility of failure other than if you roll a 1, but I am going to need you to roll just to make sure that there's not that 5% chance that you just, you know, oops. Yeah, you're good. All right. You know, every so often something goes wrong, you know. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're not the world's greatest spellcaster. Oh but no, the... Wayne is the worst spellcaster. No. <laughs> He's just good at it. That you're still better than Felix Faust as of right now. <laughs> kind of. I mean, he has more tricks per se, but like just on a pure like level basis. I mean, Felix Faust knows magical theory, and Wayne used uh, the make hole cantrip to teleport Deep Knight to space. True. And I... Oh, I'm sorry. Eradicator's like, screw this! That thing is getting stronger by the minute! And so now Cyborg Superman has to try to restrain him, and there's just this, like, little struggle. And as, as they're starting to struggle... Uh, Superman, like, you can see his eyes start to, like, glow a little, like, red. Alright. Time to do something the best I can. Viv is going to uh, reach up, and with their left hand, they're going to grab their right hand, and it's going to, with a slightly wet noise kind of come off of their arm. Their right stump, the end, begins to shift from red, then to gray, and as it does so, a little spiraling spire of gray nanite um, structures forms into some sort of complex surgical tool. They align it for a moment, and then s slowly insert the structure into uh, the affected area. I would like to roll against biotechnology to operate on the area. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Uh, so can I can spend my hero point for the session here to improve this roll? Yes, sir. Okay. How? How? What does it do? Like. It adds 10. Okay. I uh, will take this at t 10 then. Plus 10. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Here we go. The one and only. Uh, 34. Oh. That, I rolled Arcane Theory. but It's the it's the same bonus, but I accidentally rolled the wrong skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but you rolled a 13. Unlucky 13. So he turns fully into Doomsday and kills you all. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, as you insert the blade, at first the skin presses in before finally the fine atom width blade, uh, you know, slices into the skin of the half Kryptonian, half Doomsday, and as you slice slowly downward, you can see a complex neuro network of wires going like all over his his skull and one central like gpu um you know uh thing that like kind of runs it but as you look at it uh roll for perception Okay, rolling for perception. This <laughs> is Brainiac technology. Hmm, that's very interesting. Very interesting. Ah, uh, yes, the relationship between Lex Luthor and Brainiac. Yep. Could have seen this coming. 
Well, Viv is going to narrow their eyes at that, but I don't feel the need to comment on it. That's fine. That's fine. I just, you know, wanted to make sure that any relevant information was gleaned. All right, so uh, that's pretty much your turn for this turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, then that's my turn for this turn. Deep night in deep space. You are approached by John Dar, who tells you that um, you guys don't have a moment to lose. And he flies you back to Earth at rapid speed. You guys will arrive, uh, you know, at the end of the of the session um, to, to see whatever happens then. So you guys are flying at top speed right now. Fantastic. Do you want him to carry you like Lois Lane, or would you prefer to uh, surf on him like a like a Silver Surfer surfboard? Better idea. I surf on him, and when he when we reach the atmosphere, he'll turn into a shark. That's awesome. Sure. This is like sort of as Deep Knight is talking to uh to Martian Manhunter, he sort of talks about like maybe doing this interesting intro that he's always had in his had in his dreams and and sort of stuff. As Superman becomes fully aware of the two other Supermen fighting, he starts to struggle, making it hard for Viv uh, Great King Rat, you're going to have to roll again to try and, and calm him. Oh. It's those supermen fighting. Bunch of super babies. 20. Oh, so you're able to get him uh, dazed, but not asleep. And so... He starts to, like, grumble, and his eyes light up like he's going to blast them with heat beams on his next turn. And Eradicator... Hey. Yeah, go ahead. This is a fucked up option. I have extra effort. Could I just knock myself out using my famous destroy object ability on that fucking GPU? Absolutely. All right. As you... I just got to hit it. Yeah, as or, you no, use your your all of your stamina, all of your energy, this is that rocky, you know, Balboa moment where you you have nothing left and you just give every haymaker, you know, that you have, you know, everything into the last haymaker, everything that you have, and just you know, you're you're hoping that it's enough to save the day even if it takes you out of the fight for now or forever yeah and, and yeah uh you do have to roll a hit but it's much less than his regular hit so well good news is the maim so i have i'm pretty good at maiming things I wouldn't brag about that in front of superman okay so like i said you you uh have an easier time because he's dazed and you know it's exposed etc so you do actually manage to bite it but as you bite it like it shocks you um even more than than what you would expect like there's some kind of safety device on this and so you take a bunch of damage as you destroy it and Wayne's body shrivels into a fried little crisp of a rat and Superman falls to his knees as the doomsday uh, genes are fully suppressed and slowly the bone protrusions go back in and he turns back into what looks like uh, Kal-El. Um, you know, for now, but, uh, as, as Wayne's, 
you know, burnt and smoking corpse lies next to him, John Dar looking like a big green shark uh, with Deep Knight riding on him, lands in the water uh, next to you guys, and you guys see everything that's going on, and you all look at each other and, and wonder, you know, is this the end of Great King Rat? Is this the end of the Doomsday Threat? Or is this just the beginning of an all-new, all-horrible chapter in the Doomsday Aftermath Saga? We will find out next time on Doomsday Aftermath. I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone... Good, Good gaming. gaming.